This is Kuben Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Uh, delighted to be joined by Mr. Umar Sadiq to my top left and also uh, British and Commonwealth champion Laron Richard. Uh, I'll start with you, Laron. You're in the gym. You good? Yeah, I'm blessed, man. I can't complain. <laughs> home away from home. Absolutely. Umar, you all good? Keeping well? I'm blessed, bro. Yeah. I've been good. So, Frank Warren uh, yesterday announced his plans for his uh, uh, return to boxing in July, which will uh, all take place at the BT Sports Studio. So, your, both your fights are outlined to feature on this plan. So, I'll start with um, you, Umar. Yeah, I know you don't have an exact date yet, but the fight with you and Laron is on. That's what's up. That's what I've been waiting for, isn't it? So I'm sure laron has been waiting as well, patiently doing his thing, just as I've been doing, and um just waiting for the date like everybody else is. So we get a cracking. You ready, Laron? Um, I will be ready, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Good stuff. Laron, yeah, has it been a, a frustrating obviously time for everyone in boxing because no one's really had a confirmed date, obviously. So but we know that boxing is like nearing its return next month so to have that there is some light there you can work towards absolutely um you know like everybody says like well we're, we're professionals you know so if you're a professional boxer you should be in the gym should be training you should be ticking over i know all that madness happened with the pandemic but you know as a like i said as a professional everyone ticking over i'm sure umar was ticking over himself and now we've got a date um it's time to um you know <laughs> Time to put all the hard work in, and so we can get the job done on uh, on fight night. Umar, um, how do you kind of rate Laron as a fighter? Um, maybe kind of pick out a couple of pros, a couple of cons uh, as Laron as a fighter. Um, so, Viral Laron, we'll call and all that, but right now, you know, we're fighting, so. No, Listen, it's, it's business. Yeah, yeah exactly. Business. It's just business. Right. So, good points about Laron. Very good boxer. Good feet. Picks good shots. Um, thinking fire. Brilliant. Um, cons. All right, put it this way, yeah? I live a busy life, Kugan, as you know, right? I do salsa. I'm training. I'm learning languages. I do a whole bunch of things, modeling, whatever. So, I find it hard to unwind, right? Sometimes what I like to do is I say that 2, 3 p.m. I think I've got on wine. I've got to find something to set my mind at ease, right? Maybe have a nap. I don't know. So what I'll do is I'll get comfortable on the sofa, um, chat YouTube on the telly, um, set my phone up for an hour, give myself an hour to unwind. And I'll put on a little Richard's fight on, put my head back and my alarm goes off. Okay. Yeah. So the point is, he's a very good boxer. He's skilled at what he's doing, but he brings no excitement whatsoever now does not say excitement is what's always needed to win a fight because clearly the guy's unbeaten but what i'm trying to say is that the things that you need to be exciting are the things that you need to beat very good fighters so how good is he we don't know but his skills are undenied at the level that he's been boxing at so far against the opposition he's been boxing against so that's what i would say with that and I'm looking forward to finding out just how good he is or exposing just how good he's not. Okay. Um, same question to you, Laron, and also a response to, I'll just say it is, Umar's basically saying that you're not a very entertaining fighter. Oh, we've heard that before. <laughs> boring. What, as in his comments are boring? Yeah, you know, I've heard it time and time and time again. It's, it's, it's very boring. It's just boring, like you know, you got to cover something new, you know, you know cover I'm something new. You good. <laughs> because I've just said the guy's boring in the ring, yeah, and then you've asked him, What have you got to say with that? And then he gives a boring response. It's boring in the ring and out the ring. It's boring all around. <laughs> you can say it's boring, Laurent, but your, your style's boring. That's the fact, and your response there is boring. So, really and truly, what you got to ask is. What are you giving the fans to be excited about watching you? Like, I can't think of a fighter that's got a lot of accolades and is well thought of 
the mm-hmm. most people in the ring and out the ring. I mean, if you get someone like Pacquiao, Lomachenko, that kind of lot, out of the ring, they're quiet, well-mannered, Golovkin, you know, all of that. That's cool, but they get in the ring and you want to watch them in the ring. Or you have some fighters do a lot of talking. Jorah Miller. So you, you just cut out on you. In and out. Sorry, but someone is ringing me. But you can't be boring in and out of the ring. Do you know what I mean? So you you got to like adjust something up. I just feel like, pray this way. It's not, it's not just what I thought. I believe. You've been the British champion for nearly a year now, and I'm telling people I'm fighting for the British title, and they're asking me who the champion is. That's not good, bro. It's a very prestigious this, um, division. You've got to respect it, and you know, bring some life. We're entertainers. So when it's all said and done. I'm speaking now, I'm going to entertain people, I'm going to tell them things that we want to hear, I'm going to make people laugh, I'm going to make them enjoy watching the videos, and when they watch me fight, as I've proven in the past, they're going to enjoy watching the fight. Whether or not he wants to play, I'm going to make sure the play happens. Um, but when it's all said and done, boring out of the ring, boring in the ring, no one cares, no one wants to watch, and I'm going to take those titles and make good use of them. Laron, I'll ask you the same question I originally asked Umar. Uh-huh. Strengths and weaknesses is in pros and cons to to Umar Sadiq. So, if you could kind of answer that in the same uh, kind of um, context as Umar was saying, uh, long, very long. People say he's awkward, very busy. Um, yeah, a um, competent fighter. Okay, and any negatives or any cons, any weaknesses there? Um, I would expose him on the night. There's another boring. There's a boring. Another boring um, answer for you, Umar. <laughs> I'm glad yeah, you're entertained. Very, very. <laughs> um, obviously, there's only one loss between you uh, yeah. in all the fights that you had, and obviously that's that was Umar's defeat to to Zach Shelley. What what did you make of that? What do you take from that defeat he had to Zach Shelley, Laron? Not much, because you know, like I know my boxing, you know, and I. I was there that night. I was watching it as a fan, actually, and to support Uma to see um, what um, to see Uma get the victory. Um, obviously, he did not. Um, but uh, no, I don't take much away from that fight at all. No, because I believe that Uma's improved, you know, since that fight. Okay, and yeah, I mean that that fight seems like a long time ago now, and is it completely out of your system now, Uma? Yeah, it was nearly two years ago. And just a touch on what Leron said about watching me and supporting me. I watched him and support him as well. When I was watching him fight um, Lennox Clark for the British title, I was actually there supporting him. Um, so, and I, know, I didn't think we were going to be fighting this, this soon. So, you know, that's the way that goes. That's life, Do you know, you know, Coogan, um, I was in Vegas. I was training really hard. Um, I had a WBC silver shot um, coming my way because I was looking to push on to the world level. Um, you know, uh, it was um, then obviously Uma Sadiq fight came along and they said, because obviously the WBC silver fight pulled out or whatever. So I took that fight and I thought that, um, yeah, me and Uma was going to fight. But then uh, after the pandemic, things just went up in the air. Um, fights got offered to me. Mark Heffron got offered to me. I took that. Mark Heffron didn't want the fight. Uma stepped up, you know, so credit to Uma Sadiq. Um, Uma Sadiq beat um, Cody Davis. Good performance. And um, that's why... I'll give him a shot at the British title. Yeah. Either way, I'm happy to take it, bro. And um, what was I even answering before that? You asked me something. Oh, yeah, the Zach Chelly fight years ago. Um, well, nearly two years ago. Yeah, after that, you know, I've just had to rebuild. My entire setup's different. My attitude is different. And um, it's a cliche. People say, you know, the, the loss made me better. But the truth, it has made me better. As a person, as a boxer, in myself, and everything. Um, in a similar way, I know that Leron's more than likely going to be better than his last fight because now he's a champion, and as a champion, he's going to have something to prove. So, not really, no, not really, no. Uh, but okay. All right, cool. Then you're fucked. <laughs> Play the okay. No, um, no, no. Listen, hear what I'm say, saying. If you turn up hear, with that version of yourself, you box. Hear, 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 hear what I'm saying to you, right? I'm as hungry as what I started. Yeah. So don't get it twisted. And if you think that you can look at me, you look at me from outside the ring, you think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But inside the ring, it's completely different. And you'll find yeah, that, that. That's all good in that, but... It's world level. Different. World level, domestic Based level. Based on you'll what? Find, Based on world what? Le- world level, domestic level. You'll Based find out real soon. Based on what? You'll find out real soon. Please, no, but please answer the question. Based on what? 
you'll find that real soon. Oh, so you can't tell us? You're just saying anything now? No, no, no. You'll find it real soon. You say random shit and then say you'll find out. It's not random. It's a statement, oh, right? Based which on what? I'm going to sh- Which I'm going to show you. On fighting. You can't show me that because I'm not claiming to be world level. No, no. So there's nothing you're going to do in the ring. I didn't say, I didn't say you were domestic. I, I said you were domestic. So, so. Yeah, I'm domestic. So I'm saying there's nothing you can do against a domestic fighter to show that you're world level. So what's your point? You're world level based on what? Stop, stop selling for false promises and that. Just speak it. If you go out and speak it, it's because you just said something that you thought sounds nice. Yeah? No, no, no. Listen, listen. You, um, I don't know. I don't know who. One second. Oh, God. I don't know what you your, um, I, 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 don't, I don't know what <laughs> your, um, I don't know what your, um, trying to achieve here, Rima. I really don't. You said All I'm a boring right. fighter. You said I'm a boring fighter. Very good. Yeah. You said I'm boring in and out the ring. Very good. Yeah. I don't. I don't care what you say. That's your opinion. No, you don't. But yeah? the fans, I'm saying to you now. The, fan, the fans pay you. I'm saying. I'm saying to you. You've got to hear what the fans think. They, no, no, listen, 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 the fan, listen, the, fa- listen, the, the, fan listen, the fan, the fans, obviously watch me, etc., etc. Et but it's not the fans that pay me right now. This fight here, oh the TV's God. paying me. The, TV's I, paying why, me. Why is the TV paying you, Laurent? Because they want to, because they want to see me fight. Where are they getting the money from? Because they want to see me fight. Where is the TV getting the money from? Oh God! You see, you don't know. TV gets some money because of the viewership. The viewership is based listen, on. Listen, listen. He, 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 he what I'm saying to you. No Uma, Uma, the fans, he saying to you. The fans you, pay you, you, whether directly or indirectly. The fans pay you. You have to accept that. And if you're gonna, if you're gonna shortchange them and be okay with that, you're exposing yourself you, here is not me. You, you listen. Right. You. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here, Uma. Yeah. You will never know. You can't work me out. You, don't even try it. I'm not even trying. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here, but it's not now. working. Yeah, it's not working, mate. I'm not Cody. 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 You, you just said yourself, you don't know what I'm trying to do. So you can't then say after it's not working. You can't know if it's not working if you don't know what it is. Again, you're just saying a random shit that sounds good. Let, let me ask you a question. This let, is what's going to happen in the ring, yeah? This is exactly a depiction of what's going to happen in the ring. He's going to just try to do shit to look like he's in control, but he's going to have no bloody clue what's happening. He's going to have absolutely no clue. Every move you make in the ring, you're going to make because I've made you make it. But the action's gonna happen where I decide it happens. The shots you're gonna throw are gonna be shots that I've allowed you to throw. And the fight's gonna go exactly how I planned for it to. And that's the kind of thing I can say I'll show you on the night, because I will. Let, let me ask you a question, Laron. Laron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a week ago, <laughs> or just over a week ago, you, you, you sent a tweet out and you said, um, the days of Laron Richards staying quiet is done. Continuously suffering in silence. Mm-hmm. Can you expand on that and tell me the thought behind that, please? Well, Coogan, um, no one knows my story, you know. But let's put it this way: I've never um, been given anything in my life. I've had to always work extremely hard for it, and uh, things that have happened in my career, um, I sat back and I've stayed quiet about it and you know, not spoke about it. And uh, that's what that tweet was about. Okay. I think what Coogan was trying to get at, bro, see, that's another point you lost there. The point he was trying to make, I think, Coogan, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, you can correct me if I'm wrong, is you said the days of you being quiet are long gone, but then you're not saying much right now. So I think he's just trying to pull you out on that in a journalistic no, no, way. No, 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 Coogan, what are you trying to pull me out? Like, yeah. what are you, what, why are you ask, asking me that question? Why did you ask me that question? Yeah, why did you ask me that question? Yeah, to clear it up for Uma. Who are you asking me, or are you asking Uma? Yeah, I'm. And I'm asking you for for you to clear it up for Uma. Okay, no, I asked him because I I I, did, I saw it the other day, and I just wanted an explanation for it. It wasn't because I'm thinking right now that he's not saying anything because Leron is talking. So Leron is talking. He may not be talking as much as you, Uma. Well, but what are you lying for? What are you lying for, Morgan? It was a notable tweet that it was a notable tweet that I thought <laughs> was worth asking about. So 
he is talking. You can't say he's not talking because he is talking. So, like I said, no, I'm t- I, I, said, I, am, I am talking, um, just not as much as what Uma wants me to talk. So. You know what? You've already spoken more than I expected you to, so I'm happy about that. Hence okay. the point what I was just trying to make. It wasn't trying to get him to, because he wasn't talking. I was just asking, asking him to explain on that specific tweet, which was over a week ago. It's not really applicable to now, but... It just needed, yeah, a little bit of explanation from my side. Um, Uma, uh, Uma, um, but everything going well thus far, you seem to have been ticking over, but restrictions of not having kind of a full camp, is that going to be a hindrance going into this part? It's for both uh, of you anyway. So, you know, you're yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Whether or not it does, I mean, laurent has been dished the same cards as I've been dished, so... There are no excuses in this fight for either person. No, no one's going to be able to come out and say, you know, because of lockdown or whatever, everyone was in the same boat. So it is what it is. If the fight was next week, I'll take it because he would have to, well, if he takes it, then he's also just come out of lockdown. Whenever it is, let's do it. No excuses. Same to you, Laron, about that. Um, obviously, in an ideal world, full camp with full kind of... Uh, no restrictions, so we say, but it hasn't been like that. But you both are on an even playing field regarding this. Absolutely. Um, look, we all tick. We were all ticking over. Um, obviously, like Umar said, if the fight was next week, I'm sure um, you know we'll take the fight or the fight will happen. Um, so I guess now it's just a waiting game. Laron, I just want to make a, a point of a a tweet that Sam Jones did put out last night. I'm going to read the tweet to you and maybe you can kind of just uh, yeah, go, comment on yeah. this. He said, uh, myself and Adam, SJ and Boxing, have taken the decision to donate our full percentage from this fight to the disaster that's happening uh, in Yemen. So, hashtag save Yemen. So, yes. that's, a, that's a great thing that they're doing. It's a great um, thing that Adam and Sam are doing. We spoke about it um, um, before they put out the tweet and and it's a... It's going to a good cause, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. Yeah, I mean, Umar, even you could appreciate the, the just there from some Sam Jones uh, to do that as well. Yeah, 100, man. Uh, I respect it. I think it's our duty as human beings to help lift other people who are less fortunate than us in whatever capacity that we can, regardless of where we are. Um, so, yeah, that's a great thing that they're doing. I respect it. All right, guys, listen, uh, nearly done here. Just um, from all the fights, I mean, Frank Warren announced some great domestic 50-50 fights yesterday, and, and this is definitely up there, if not the best one or the pick of them for me. But um, we're, we're all looking forward to kind of seeing you two get, get at it. I know you've had a few words here, but as long as you both come out of the ring safe, that's all that ultimately matters. Um, just final words to each other. Uh, I'll start with... Uh, you, Umar, just, yeah, message to Laron. He's right there. There isn't really a message, um, but I'll just make a point. This is an open <laughs> comment. We have a champion who people are unaware of, people are un- uninterested in watching, uninterested in hearing. And I think if you are a champion in any field, in whatever craft or niche it might be, then it's, especially if you're a national champion, it's your responsibility <laughs> to make sure that at least within your niche, people are aware of, you know, who you are and what you're doing and what's happening. Because then otherwise, you're a detriment to the niche that you're participating in. So anyway, I'm spitting that out. Um, but with that being said, you know, Laurent's a cool guy in that. Like I said at the start, we're all cool. But like he said as well, it's just business. Laurent, final word to you as champion. <laughs> Listen, like I always say, there's no, listen, no height required. It's all about the skills. And on the night, you'll see it, for sure. Uma will say I'm boring. That's his opinion. And um, listen, <laughs> he'll find out a fight night. It's going to be the most exciting fight you've had, bro. Um, I would advise you to have a word. Of, I should have, but I'm going to do it anyway. I would advise you to go have a word with Cody Davis. Make sure you've got your pen and paper. Take all the notes he gives you. No, I don't do that. I don't do that, mate. He's going to give you I some good... I'm just saying, you don't have to take it. You don't have to take it. You know, you know, you know, one old friend to another. Go take the notes. 
He's going to explain some shit to you, but chances are he still doesn't know what happened to him anyway. But he's going to explain some shit to you. You're going to have a better insight. But it's what it is. We'll, we'll see each other in the night. <laughs> well, listen, uh, full <laughs> respect to both of you. Um, listen, like I said, let's hope for a great fight because it is. Uh, on paper, this is, this is a great fight. And uh, me as a boxing fan, very much looking forward to it. So, like I said, let's both come out the ring safe. Um, you know, let's see what happens on the night. So, I appreciate your time talking to IFL TV and uh, best of luck with the rest of your camps. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch up nearer, nearer the day of the fight. All right, so, thank you. Well. Bless, bro. All yeah. right. <laughs> Cheers, bro. God bless you, <laughs> <both. laughs>